Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Del and I'm back again today with episode 32 of the Book of Unwritten Tales. In the last episode we did a lot of talking to Gulliver, Chief Zombie and that Wailing Water Woman downstairs and we've explored everything I think that there is to explore in here so we're gonna leave the crypt and see what's outside and find out. Oh okay so we're... Right okay let's try and suss this out right there's a TP up there Okay, so this is exactly the same place that, what's his face, um, Wilbur got kidnapped. He got kidnapped right by here, so that's the paladin that wants the chief zombie. There's that blinking head on the lance. There's some pink boxes, but first we're going to examine the hard red earth. I think that's the most vital thing to look at around these parts. Hmm, some red earth. Just about everything else here is black and grey. I think it looks actually quite nice. The sun looks like it's either rising or setting. I think it looks good. Let's have some red earth. We're definitely making a collage. Look at this stuff we've got, man. Um, that's the direction of the orc camp. Let's... Can we get some mushrooms for our collage? I hope so. A few small white mushrooms. No idea if you can eat them. Should we try? Well, we've taken some. Paint the mushrooms. Okay. Why should I paint the mushrooms? I don't know, but there's no harm in it. Why should I paint the mushrooms? No. Okay. As long as the red isn't liquid, it can't be mixed with other colors. All right. Glue can't glue anything apparently. Can't tie anything. We can only mix the paint. That's the only option there. Okay. Okay, so we can't do anything with the stuff in our inventory. How about the piece of paper? You look at that. A map of the region. Among other things, the paladin has marked the crypt. Okay, can I have it? Probably not. The paladin's probably going to stop me. Nope, apparently it's mine now. What about the head on the lance then? Armstrong? Uh, a head on a pole. What will the Peggy people have to say about that? <laughs> a gruesome head. Kind of a cheap gimmick, because ultimately... Ooh. Oh my god, it speaks. What? What? Is there a spider on me? Uh, yes. No. Oh, thank goodness. Those creepy crawlies drive me mad. Can you imagine what it feels like when they run up your neck and then start nibbling at your eyes from the inside? Oh, this is... Esther... Obviously, of course. Wait, that's Esther's body and this is Esther's head, I'm presuming. I can't, uh, argue about that. I'll give you a clue. It's not nice. Ah. Just There's a surprise. Him, simply chops my head off. Hey, stop that nattering. Leave the head alone. Leave the head alone. Leave the head alone. So yeah, it is Esther. Is that you, Esther. Mm -hmm. I've just met your body. It's doing okay, apart from missing its head. I miss her. I would love to write, but no hands. <gasps> Shh! Mm. Quiet over there. Oh. Okay. Hello. I just wanted to. Hey! No. I said no. No talking to the prisoner. Okay. That's fine. Um. Alrighty, let's try talking to or looking at the paladin, I suppose. We can't talk to him yet. A paladin in a pink colored outfit? That's wrong. Just wrong. Hmm. Are you a warrior? No, I can't fight. Are you a healer? I can't heal either. Then you're a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Wow, okay. Um, you know any good paladin jokes? Know any good paladin jokes? Why should anyone make jokes about us? We are the holy soldiers of the light. In dresses? This is a tunic. Oh yes, a tunic. Sure. Okay, you know what kind of clothing men usually wear? You know that men who wear dresses are... As a rule, well, men who wear dresses. 
What's that supposed to mean? Just because I wear dresses, use cosmetics, and take a general interest in my appearance? Ah, so it is a dress. The modern man is metrosexual. Wow. That's news to me. Tumblr would have a field well, my day. Order and I have lifted ourselves up out of the mud in which you and your sort still wallow like pigs. We're cosmopolitan, hip, fashionable. We take care of our appearance and don't downplay our feminine side. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the wild land. Okay, well, what's the head doing on top of the lance? What's that zombie head doing there on that lance? If I put it on the ground, it might try and bite me. It's also much easier to see like this. I mean, why did you behead the poor zombie in the first place? <laughs> zombies! <laughs> wow, he doesn't like zombies. Are unkempt, stinky, unholy. Without any charm or chic whatsoever, they can't expect any sympathy. Uh, I've spoken to the zombie that you'd stuck in the penitence pillory. About the zombie you've stuck in the magical penitence pillory. What about that maggot? Is he going to give himself up to his fate? Is that cowardly zombie finally going to come out? No, he wants forgiveness. He's really sorry for what he did. He'd like to apologize. Ugh, laughable. I'll cut him into little pieces and feed him to the fishes. Nice. But couldn't you maybe forgive him first? You spent too much time in that smoky buffalo's tent. I would never forgive someone like that. Right, okay. About your fight with the zombie. That's nothing to do with you. That's between the zombie... Every time he says zombie, he has to spit. Okay. Have to go. Man stuff. <laughs> yeah. Man stuff to do. Okay, so we've got a teepee and we've got the orc camp and then we've also got a travel chest. A fashionable travel chest made from light wood. Mm. There's a logo on it. Mm. The Pink Crusaders. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Open it. He's not looking right now. Why not? You can always use a pink-colored pom-pom in the wildlands, in the war. Okay, I've taken a pink pom-pom. Is there anything else in there? There was nothing else of any interest. You, oh, the pink pom-pom. Not that I'd find pom -pom I was going to say, it's the only interesting thing, really. Okay, uh, the pennant. What's this? Probably their symbol, isn't it? The pink sword and the pink shoes. The emblem on it could be the paladin's arms. It shows a sword, a shield, and... Red high heels? Hmm, great. Okay, let's go into the teepee. Then we'll go to the orc camp and try and rescue Wilbur. Wonder where on earth Ivo is. Really? A minotaur. A herbal minotaur. Of all the things. Can we paint the pot? Oh, so we could paint the pom pom yellow. Apparently not though. Can we look at the map? Oh, it's another fast travel map. Wow, a lot of places to go. Holy. Alright, so that's the place we just came out of. That looks like the... Or that looks like the... No, this is the teepee we're currently at. That looks like the orc camp. That looks like a volcano with a big dragon. That looks like a beach. That looks like a scary cave and that looks like... A guy with two heads. Anyway, looks like we don't need that right yet. Let's look at the metal container. A copper bowl. No idea what that's good for. Yeah, pretty sure this guy's just here getting high. Hey, Chief, can I take this thing here? Stare blankly if I can. Thanks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you what on earth? Okay. Um, that'll make things easily. Can we make things easy even? Can we... A pair of bellows. These would help the bull keep the fire going. Okay, can we take them? Excuse me. These bellows here. Can I have them? They are broken. Oh. Hmm. Can I have them anyway? What do I get in exchange? Nothing. They don't work. <laughs> you speak wisely. At last, someone who recognizes that. Great, okay, the bellows are mine. 
Sure. Hmm. They really are wrecked. There's a hole here in the airbag. Hmm. Okay. He's got a fantastic voice. Um. Look at the feather headdress. Can I have that? A hideous feather headdress. I still wanted. No way. I'm not putting that thing on. No. But I can take a feather. Okay. Can we paint the feather? No. Okay. Um. Seeing if we can combine it, because anything we're able to combine, we presumably have to do. So, I'm just making sure I'm not missing. Smear glue over the hole. Right. I'll smear the edge of the hole with glue. Just missing a patch now. Okay, that that's done, and I don't have the glue anymore. Sure. The feather? No, of course the feather's not going to be a good patch. Paint in the bowl? No. This or fasten the pom pom to the string. Nice! Now I've got a pom-pom on a string. Right. They can't be used to... I have no idea what any of this is going to be used for. I'm just, uh... Uh... Crush the red earth? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'll put the earth into the mortar. And with a bit of elbow grease... Now I've... Now we have a fine red powder made from the red earth. Great. Can I paint it? As long as the red isn't liquid, it can't be mixed with other colours. Okay, so we need to add water. What can I... What on earth? This is... This is all very, very confusing. Let's get some more stuff first. Um, okay, let's look at the pot. The pot looks like it's been hanging over the glowing coals for years. I can't find anything else of interest. Only the lid's unusual. It's got a kind of steam valve on it. Open it. The lid is held with a chain. Pretty clever. The pot is empty. Okay, can we put anything in the pot? Mushrooms. No, okay. Sure, alright, let's look at the chest. Can we open this chest? Yes. Cow makeup. Of course. Unless I'm wrong, that is makeup, and I most strongly suspect that it belonged to Big Chief Clovenhoof. That's just to make things clear, I'm not putting on any It's mine makeup. now. Ooh, can... Hmm. Black ink. I'll take that. You could say black and yellow. The ink black and yellow, black and yellow. Around. That's finest quality ink for writing or for painting cows. Okay, for writing. We've got a feather. Can that be used then as, like, the pen? Because people use feather quills. No, okay. Sure, that's not what we're doing then. Um, can we... Use it on the mushroom? No, okay, that's fine. Um, let's look at the Minotaur, finally, then. A fat old bull that smokes a crazy-looking pipe. And who doesn't seem to hear me. Or who doesn't get insulted too easy. Probably the latter. He heard us before. Hi there. Hello? Anyone home? He's already spoken to us once, so presumably... Moo! That's racist. I heard. <laughs> oh, that's. It's helpful great. when you respond. I'm Nate. Who are you and what are you? My name's Nate, and you are? I am known on this plane as Fastfoot, Thunderhoof, or the Rainmaker. I belong to the proud nation of the Minotaur. The Rainmaker's quite cool. And you run some sort of fancy hippie costume business? I am a shame. Of course. And that is? I talk to the ghosts of our forefathers. I brew potions, heal the sick, and invoke the weather. Wow. Lots to do. <laughs> you must really get stressed That's out. That's probably what th that pipe's for. True. <laughs> so... He says something about speaking to the forefather. Surely he can be used to help out the girl in the um the girl in the crypt, presumably. What's that stuff you're smoking? Some of the good Lost old Mary Jane. The journey with the spirits and to commune with my forefathers. You're supposed to eat grass, not smoke it. Hmm. That's what you think. He's just going true. Okay. No, okay, I was hoping you'd... I didn't mean to insult you with that, Moo. 
That moo thing just slipped out. I didn't mean to insult you. Eh, I just thought, hey, there's a bull sitting there. I'll say moo. You get me? <laughs> if you'd have looked like a donkey, I'd have gone eeyore. Or if it stank like a pig's Stop side, digging yourself into a hole. I forgive you. Oh, thank you. But come to think of it, it reeks of buffalo, and I... Thank you, I have forgiven. Thank you, the Super. rain man. I need to go outside. Something not quite right about the air in here. Good luck on your journey. May the grass between your hooves be evergreen. All right. Sure. Have we taken a look at the campfire? The coals are just glowing, but the heat is tremendous. Okay, presuming we've taken everything that we can in here then, let's wander back outside. Alright guys, not sure how long this has been, I'm going to hope about 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. In the next episode, we'll wander over to the Orc camp and see if we can rescue Wilbur. If you guys have enjoyed, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in the series, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye bye for now. You play as Esteban, a stressed out bull with a lot of creativity flowing through his bones. Your objective is to help Esteban to create beautiful art by steering him through a collage world of various school craft textures to collect as many craft materials as possible. However, every time you steer him, Esteban becomes a little more stressed out and if you steer him too much, he'll lose all the craft pieces he's collected. You can reduce the stress by taking out Esteban's anger on poor, unsuspecting walls by bouncing into them, which also raises his speed. Barraging into helpless denizens.